Today's show is brought to you by Skillshare.com. At Skillshare.com, they have thousands of classes available, not just simply about business or job hunting, but lots of different classes on a host of different subjects, almost anything you can think of, and they have one low price associated with your learning. They have classes about particular technologies you can learn, pottery, public speaking. I have a half dozen of my classes about job hunting there, writing, photography, film, almost anything you can think of, they have Skillshare classes available. Now, if you use my link, thebiggamehunter.us forward slash Skillshare, they'll offer a free trial and 30% off if you decide to join. There's a lot to learn, and Skillshare is a place where you can learn it. Now, let's get back to today's show. This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 2127. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome to Thursday. Welcome to Thursday. And today's show is one that's part two of an interview that I did with Lisa Rangel about shifting your mindset. This show stands on its own, but I want to encourage you, if you haven't listened to yesterday's, I think you'll enjoy yesterday's as well, and it sets up this show nicely. Hope you find it helpful. Hope you give it a great review wherever you listen to it. And now, we'll be back in just one moment. Top Resume is a solid service to get you a better resume. Reasonably priced. It's not a premium service. It's for people like you and I who can afford a certain amount of money and also need a great result. And even better, they have a plan through a firm that allows you to stretch your payments for service over the course of the year to something like 20 some odd dollars or 30 some odd dollars per month so that you don't have to write a large check, which right now, if you're not working, is really important to you. So use the link in the show notes. It will help you get a resume and if you want a LinkedIn profile done for you very inexpensively. Today, I want to respond to a reader who asked me a a A pretty simple question, but it's one that more and more people are concerned about in today's economy. And that is, you know, I had a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. And when or should I disclose to a recruiter or to an employer that I had a bankruptcy? Now, let me just start by saying this is a much more common problem today than it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. Um, and, And... I feel badly for you, and I want to address the question very directly. Um, An employer is not allowed to discriminate on the basis of bankruptcy. And they can't ask you a question during an interview uh, as to whether or not you've had a bankruptcy. They are entitled to perform a credit check. If you're in a role or would be hired in a role where there's, quote, sensitive financial data that's involved or financial information or you're handling money, um, that is a criteria that allows them to turn you down. Um, When they ask to perform a credit check, uh, in theory, you can decline to allow them to do that, but that's a signal that there's a problem there and they'll probably turn down your application. So the question was, when do you disclose? How do you respond during an interview? Do you volunteer this? And my personal opinion is no. You don't volunteer this unless there's a need. Because I I think the statistics I saw were something in the area of maybe 13, 14% of employers do credit checks. So that's fewer than one in five. From your standpoint, you've learned your lesson, I'm sure. And what you don't want to do is put yourself behind an eight ball or, or... Um, unnecessarily cause yourself stress. Now, if you're applying for a job for which, or your career is one in which you have that sort of responsibility, you do have a problem. But for most individuals, that's not an issue. So the only time I would really disclose to an employer or to a recruiter like myself that um, I've had that sort of an issue is if I'm being presented to an employer for whom the role would be that, uh, where I'm handling, you know, uh, uh, 
discrete data. Uh, I might ask the third party recruiter whether or not this is a firm that performs a background check uh, or a credit check. Um, and it's specific, I want to be clear, specifically a credit check. A background check, there's nothing intuitively problematic about it. A credit check, there could be. So if you're interviewing with a bank, for example, uh, you might ask the recruiter as part of the process, what kind of background checking do they do at the time that they're ready to make an offer? Uh, if they say they're going to perform a credit check, then you disclose to the recruiter that you have the history. Up until that point, there's no reason to, because all that's going to happen is most recruiters are going to be a little frightened, and they may go to the next candidate. Yeah, they don't think of it as discrimination. They think of it in terms of uh, being someone who's looking out for their client's interests, whatever that means. So, again, to summarize, an employer, by the way, government is not allowed to, a government job is not allowed to discriminate in any way, shape, or form uh, based upon your credit history. Uh, so that may be your best avenue. But to summarize, uh, what, what you don't want to do is voluntarily give this information to a recruiter or uh, to someone at a firm if there's no need for them to have it. Uh, only if you are being placed into a role for which there would be uh, sensitive financial information that you disclose to the third-party recruiter uh, that you've had this kind of history. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, I've got a lot that's in the show notes that will help you. Go there, take a look at some of the things I highlight. I know it can help you with your search. But I want you to do one thing for me. And that is put in your phone, thebiggamehunter.us, Jeff Alpin, my name. And when you need help, when you need advice, when you have a question, come over to the website, go exploring in the blog, contact me for coaching or because you have a question, I'd love to help you. In the meantime, I hope you have a terrific day and most importantly, be great! Hi, this is Jeff Hoppin, The Big Game Hunter, and welcome to the original No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I started recording this show, I'd say it was November of 2010. I believe it was November 21st, 2010. And I originally did it on another platform before moving it to Anchor in October of 2020. And when I did so, frankly, the other service gave me a rough time moving out. So... What you have on No BS Job Search Advice Radio is a little bit different than what's here. These are the original shows that I did, probably about 1,500 of them here. And then if you subscribe to No BS Job Search Advice Radio, not the original, but No BS Job Search Advice Radio, you get all my newer content. And if you want to go back further than October, I believe you can do that on that a page on Anchor and go back a few hundred episodes. So probably about 500 episodes are listed on Anchor.fm and not all of them will be available through Spotify or Apple Podcasts or other services just because of how they handle feeds. So again, come over to Anchor.fm, listen to my shows there, subscribe. There's lots of great information I release beginning in 2021, five days a week, designed to help you find work more quickly. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few more ways to get information and advice from me. First of all, visit my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. Go to the blog. There's a lot there to help you. In addition, if you need interview advice, I've created a course called the Ultimate Job Interview Framework, available as a video on udemy.com. That's U-D-E-M-Y.com, or available as a paperback or for Kindle on Amazon, and will help you stand out in a great way on your interviews. Also, if you're interested in my coaching you, there's a button on the site that says schedule. Schedule time for a free discovery call or schedule yourself in for coaching. I will love to help you. I'm able to help with regard to interview preparation, leadership coaching, salary negotiation advice, making a good decision between different offers, 
anything related to improving yourself in the workplace. If you have questions for me, you can schedule 15 minutes with me at TheBigGameHunter.us forward slash live or an even less expensive way is at TheBigGameHunter.us forward slash video answers where you can leave a message for me and I'll respond with a three to five minute video. Please financially support the podcast by clicking the button below and pledging whatever you'd like. I really appreciate it. Finally, watch me on TV. Download the Job Search TV app for Fire TV, Fire Stick, or Roku, or Binge Networks.tv for Apple TV and 90 plus smart TV platforms. I'll be back tomorrow with more. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Be great! 